She's keeping to her lane well so far, but then steers to the right into the wrong lane. She realizes and then steers back to the left, but doesn't check the left mirror before steering. Mess this up, I don't know where I am. Okay, so right. At this I really messed it up, I didn't even indicate when I came Turn off there. Turn right, please, fourth exit. Yeah. We're going straight ahead and taking the second exit at this roundabout. So, should be positioned in the left lane. Rayon positions in the right hand lane. And from this position, it would be okay to turn right instead. But Rayon decides to take the second exit using the wrong lane. the roundabout, second exit, then turn left. Here we do have priority over the vehicles joining the carriageway, but you still need to assess what those vehicles are doing and react accordingly. The blue van isn't slowing down. So Lucia should have either slowed down or moved into the right hand lane. She doesn't react, so I had to intervene. Okay, slow down, slow down. Ibti enters this roundabout when he shouldn't have. He sees a gap after the silver car and decides to enter. He gets too close to that silver car and slows down the approaching vehicle on the roundabout. He should have waited and not taken this risk. During the feedback at the end, Ibti knew that he had messed up here. Here S makes his first serious driving fault. We are turning right so oncoming traffic has priority. When S decides to turn, there is an oncoming vehicle turning left. This kind of gap I would advise you guys not to take. But if S had accelerated and been quicker, he would have been okay. He was too slow when turning and did slow that vehicle down. That's why this was marked as a serious fault. This was the final five minutes of the test and Luke failed at this right turn, his only serious mistake. There's one car waiting to turn right and plenty of space for us to position behind it. Luke hesitates and decides to stop and holds up traffic behind. I couldn't believe he made this fault, was expecting him to pass so close. Here Samson gets confused with his left and right, which wasn't the issue. But because of that confusion, he totally forgets to look to the right before entering this mini roundabout. Left now. She entered the roundabout well, but now should keep left of this white marking that has appeared. Kiki drives over it and then steers towards the roundabout and is about to hit the curb. I had to intervene. Oh,
Dippin forgets to fasten his seatbelt. Not the best start. Stop, stop. Okay, you didn't put your belt on. Oh, I'm sorry, I. This is when you asked me to. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. When moving into the right hand lane to turn right at these lights, she forgets to check the mirrors. Right at the lights? Yeah. Turn right, then turn left. She notices the turning a bit late and doesn't position inside this area for turning right. This wasn't a serious fault at this point as we didn't obstruct any vehicles as no one was approaching from behind. But then she stalls and by the time we get a safe gap to go there are vehicles behind that have to slow down and try to squeeze past. Not good. Positioning wise, Ian does well, as expected from an experienced driver. But his observations weren't good enough. Before reversing, you should check both blind spots and out of the back window. The other vital check that he missed was the right blind spot just before our vehicle swung out. We're going straight ahead at these lights, so have priority. Rayon is about to stop, so I have to ask him to continue. Go, 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 keep going. Carry on, carry on, carry on. <laughs> 